Hey guys, happy morning everyone. This is Sushant once again from Switch to Y. I hope you love this intro of color grading in Luma Fusion. In this video, we are going to learn how to do color grading in Luma Fusion. Finally, I found a way, a good way to do a color grading in Luma Fusion as it seems look little hard to do uh, color grading in Luma Fusion. But uh, after watching this tutorial, you are able to create your own LUT and we are going to create a famous orange and teal look in Luma Fusion with the help of a app called Affinity Photos app. You can use any photo editing app you want. You can use uh, Adobe Photoshop or Affinity. I found creating LUTs in Affinity is easy. So we will learn how to create LUTs and do how to do color grading by watching this simple step. Kindly don't miss the or skip the steps. Otherwise, it will found difficult to achieve the exact same look uh, I'm trying to teach you. Okay. Let me turn on the screen recording and jump to Luma Fusion first. Okay, here I have some different different clips. Okay, I will show you the one image and the rest procedures will be same for entire clip. You can create your desire orange and teal look. Before starting the tutorial, I would like to give a basic introduction to the colors that we are going to add the blue that is teal blue is a primary color and if you uh, look at the orange is in secondary color okay uh, in order to get the orange look okay uh, we need to make a blend of red and yellow parameter okay so it is almost clear that we need to make changes in red parameter blue parameter and yellow parameter in order to make a perfect blend of orange and teal okay so here i have the footages different different footages just select any of the clip like this and tab on export take a snapshot of it all the procedures will be same for creating orange and teal look for all those video clips okay and turn on affinity like this tab on this plus icon at the top and choose import from photos like this recent select this image okay first we are going to create a duplicate copy of this on the top tab on this three dot select duplicate and on the right hand side tab on layers select that created duplicate layer okay duplicate image and tab on this three dot here we are going to make change in blending mode and select from normal to soft light like this okay uh, like this it will add the depth and contrast and the color will pop up and you can adjust the opacity this is necessary don't make 100% okay it will add too much of depth and unnecessary contrast to the image I think 30% 30, 30 is enough it is always depend upon the image you just check how much you want it this is the first step and tab on this adjustment in the adjustment we are going to make change in channel mixer first tab on this channel mixer in the bottom we are going to make change in red channel okay here are different different channels but we need a red channel in the red channel we are going to make change in green and blue here keep the red as it is to the hundred percent don't make any changes in that just pushing down this blue it will start adding blue color to it like this see and push this green up to the plus like this see we are getting a blend of orange and teal highlight over here see 
push little bit more if you want to see it's very nice and push little down little bit like this okay so here we have a look of orange and teal but we need to work out more little bit just by pushing blue down and playing with the green color see we are getting a result of orange and teal over here now we need to find a HSL okay in adjustment you need to find HSL like this tab on HSL in the ranges tab on this color wheel tab on this color wheel in the color channel you can make change in the saturation like this and push little bit don't do too much like this it will create a noise in the image if you push too much just pushing little bit it will add more color to it like this okay and tab on this yellow why we are choosing yellow channel because it will add more orange effect to the image and just by changing the hue to the right hand side see you will get the desire don't push too much just see how much you want see otherwise it will create unwanted results see if you push too much just play with it and just look at the image okay that much is enough now in the adjustment find color balance in the color balance make changes in ranges shadow okay tab on this shadow and we are going to make change in cyan and red and push it down little bit don't do too much just start playing with it see it will add a teal color to the image like this but don't play like this this much is enough okay after adding this tab on in the adjustment we need to find levels okay we need to find levels in the channel make change in this red channel and in the red you need to find this black one and push up little bit it will add more till if you want to but after pushing more you can see that orange effect is gone so we don't need too much just push one or three person you can always play with it how much you want or not okay like this and now after playing with this levels find curve this is also very important and shift to the red like this and tab on this blind graph let's see what happened when we play with it see as i move the graph to the 90 degree like this on the left hand side it will add more color orange color to it if i push down like this it will add more bluish to it we don't need too much we already have enough deal to the image just play with it like this and create a blend of orange like this and watch the image carefully uh, we have a perfect blend of orange and teal over here you can if you are not happy with it you can make changes in different different layers again if you want more color you can play with this ranges you can push the saturation if you want it but don't do too much if you are happy with it make it till 10 it will make more it will add more contrast color contrast to the image see this is enough and now we are going to create the LUT in order to export to the luma fusion okay tab on this save at the top and tab on export LUTs give the file name
man traveling jungle and you can add the description if you want by switch to i okay and i want to export open file manager mm. tab on this travel just tap to install on luma fusion see uh, lots and preset have been added and can be found in clip editor just go to this clip editor and tab on this colors and effect go to lots and find our created lots see we have that lot you can play with it how much you want it see this is previous this is after adding the lot to the footage see let's play it this is previous one it's making more interesting Okay, let's play it again on the bigger screen. Okay, like this you can produce so many new lots, orange and teal lots, different different types of orange and teal. According to your need, it will perfectly blend according to your need in Affinity Photo. You can also use Photoshop, but it is subscription based, so I try to avoid to use it in iPad. I hope you found this video useful. Then give a big thumbs up, share with your friends. See you very soon in the new amazing video. Till then, take care, stay safe. Bye bye.